So welcome everyone. Uh, today we have our student, Dr. Chris with us, and he's going to share his step one preparation journey with us. He is, like I said, our student. He had 10 plus interviews. He accepted a pre-match, but he followed a different strategy for step one. So uh, let's bring him on and hear what he has to say about uh, step one preparation. So welcome, Chris. Hi, uh, thanks for having me. So uh, hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to give you some advice uh, based on my own personal experience regarding step one. So why don't we start with some introduction about you in terms of you know when you start your step one year of graduation and things like that. I graduated towards the end of 2017 from a medical school in India. Initially, when I started my preparation, first uh, step one is first and second year of medical school. So it was difficult to go back after all these years and study the basics. Some resources that I used initially were Kaplan and um, First Aid. First Aid is a very good book. Uh, once you have everything down to revise, but for someone who just graduated, uh, I don't think it's the best thing to start reading. Ah. Uh, you should always have a good foundation in your basic sciences before you start reviewing with first aid. Uh, I started studying with Kaplan. I see. So, um, but nowadays I think the uh, students are using boards and beyonds. So I, I'm not sure which is the best as of right now, Kaplan or boards and beyonds, but whatever you use, make sure you start uh, studying your basic sciences thoroughly. And um, after you have a good grasp on, let, let's say you start studying with um, physiology and you start studying one system. So let's say you study the CVS and you study it thoroughly. What I would suggest you do is that um, you can start doing the UWorld uh, after a certain system. So you can go on UWorld, click on physiology, click on CVS, and you can start doing the questions. Because um, uh, I would advise you the faster you finish your world, the faster you'll be able to take step one and continue through your journey. Because after you finish step one, everything else you, you will be able to finish by yourself within the time frame that you want. My timeline, so after I graduated, I didn't really have too many people to guide me as to what to do. People would be like, oh, just study and make sure you get a good score. But um, from my experience, I would uh, some mistakes that I did is I didn't really thoroughly start doing UWorld world early. My mindset was, uh, I, I initially, I underestimated the importance of UWorld. world uh, My mindset was if I read the books and if I got the concepts down, I would have been able to finish UWorld world quickly, but that's not the case because UWorld world has almost 3000 questions and you have to review it at least twice. I would advise everyone to start doing UWorld world along with Kaplan. <music> How long did your entire step one preparation till the exam take in terms of just the months and mm -hmm. so totally like uh, about a year a year for this whole thing a year and a few months extra yeah. um, okay. but after one year i i reviewed everything and then after that i was just revising and just making sure my assessments were within the score range that i wanted so yeah. you said you you would have changed something in terms of, you know, uh, your strategy because you just first went to Kaplan all through and, and uh, then you started with UWorld. So you're also recommending that mm -hmm. they go it parallelly. So one maybe topic from Kaplan or yeah. uh, Boards and Beyonds and, and then immediately UWorld. Yeah, so then uh, if you do that, you'll be able to throw your journey. You, I think you'll be able to save a few months. So a few months can be, uh, can get you in that time to apply for a certain math cycle. So it is important. If you're a few months late in math cycle, then you will have to wait for the next time, right? So uh, a few months counts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I understand you're not gonna have, there's seven subjects for step one. So you're not gonna have time to study all of them. But if there is one subject I would recommend is for those in, for those students, especially in India, is to start studying biochemistry I because um, the biochemistry that we are studying in India is uh, significantly different from the biochemistry that is step one. The I mean, different in the con in the sense of understanding the concept. Like everything else, you can you work hard, you'll be able to get through it. But anatomy and biochemistry are hard subjects, so focus on those subjects in house and see if they have time. 
Now, in terms of any other resource, uh, were there any other you used off and on, like sketchy videos or Pathoma or some? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Pathology, I only use Pathoma. I didn't use Kaplan. I forgot to say that, yeah. Uh, Pathoma is the best. But watching uh, the videos are very important. So you watch. So I would suggest, as before, Pathology, you read a chapter from that book, go watch the video. Then you read the next chapter one day, you watch the video and do your world questions as well. Yeah, Sketchy Micro is good, but it's not a must. So. I see. Uh, well, any other uh, tips that we missed? You know, we covered your challenges. We covered the, uh, you know, the proposed sequence that you're recommending, the resources. Anything else that you would want to suggest for uh, students from India who may be doing their internship, maybe even in medical school or may have graduated? Those in medical school, I don't know. It depends on how free they are. Like from my experience, uh, final year is a very uh, is a very constrained time in the uh -huh. curriculum. Like I don't think uh, for especially for me, but I think like maybe the beginning of third year and beginning of second year are some times where you can take some time to go through some materials. Also, you can see uh, internship is the best time to study something when you are free. The best advice I could give is the earlier you start studying, the better it would be for your career. Well. That's a very good advice, I think, and very valuable. Uh, so thank you very much, Chris. Uh, much appreciate your time and good luck for your uh, residency. Thank you. <laughs>